Hey there, is it going guys? This is Wayne here once again for Zombie Kitty and today I'm just going to give you a quick update on what is going on with me and with my channel right now. So, there's two main subjects I want to talk about. The first one is the quality of my videos. So, back in May when I first returned to YouTube with a new PC that I've been saving up for for nearly a year, by the way. Throw that one out there. That took a long time. Uh, this new PC doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to do. It's got more RAM than my old PC, and yet I'm still running into constant screen tearing issues whenever I record a video. When I, it's, sometimes it cuts out during the video, and that's why if you guys have been watching my videos, sometimes they'll be cut short. That is because of these screen tearing issues that subsequently cuts off my screen and cuts off my microphone, and then it ends the recording. It just ends it automatically. And I can't figure out why the hell that is happening, but it is starting to get on my titties. So, that is a, a big problem. Now, to further emphasise on that, last week I decided that I was going to start dabbling with Twitch streaming. So, I ran a test stream on Twitch. Well, I was test streaming all day. Most of these Twitch streams were cut short due to screen tears. Except for one. One, after I started messing around with the settings and uninstalled some software from, I think it was NVIDIA or something, Experience GeForce or some shit like that. I uninstalled that, I had less screen tears. However, the end of the stream, which wasn't even going to be the end of the stream, was still cut short because of a screen tear, which subsequently kicked me off Twitch and uh, closed down my Elgato, then I got a blue screen of death. So that all went haywire. Now, I thought I'd got to the bottom of it. But now I'm getting a warning at the top of my Elgato whenever I change my settings to feature higher quality. Telling me that my PC is not fast enough. So, is that to do with... I'm not computer savvy guys. So if you can let me know in the comments, how do I speed my PC up? Will I have to buy more RAM and install that RAM onto the computer? Is that how that works? Because that is the only thing. Everything else about this PC is pretty much top notch. I haven't had any other technical issues whatsoever since I've uninstalled all of that NVIDIA software or whatever it is. But the only thing that keeps cropping up is the screen tearing issues. Which obviously, as you guys have just heard and what you've seen in my videos, cuts off my microphone and cuts off my video recording. So if I install more RAM, will that make my PC faster and will that stop my screen tear issues? I know I've got plenty of computer and tech savvy people in my subscriber list, so just let me know in the comments, because when I get back off holiday in two weeks, my first priority is going to be to get more RAM for this computer, if that is the case, and if that is going to affect my uh, stop affecting my quality. Because more RAM, I, I think, is the thing that makes my PC run faster. Is that correct? I don't do technology very well at all. I didn't have a smartphone until like 10 years after smartphones were invented. So yeah, that happened. Uh, as far as Twitch streaming goes, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. So that's something I'd like to dabble in more heading into State of Decay 2. Uh, another thing, YouTube. Oh man, YouTube. I'm not going to end my channel. I'm not going to stop recording videos. But YouTube has some new fandangled machine in place which tells the system that your video is not suitable for all advertisers. Now, this has only been the past couple of weeks, but 90%, 90% plus of my videos have been deemed not suitable for advertisers. Now, to me, this isn't a major issue because I never record for... I never release videos just for, for the sake of money anyway. I'm a small channel, so... Pretty much what I do earn and what I have earned is pennies. It buys me some beers every now and then. That is all. So it's not like it's a career ender because it's not a career. This is a hobby that I do in my spare time when I'm bored and want some beers and I want to play video games and share it with you guys because I love the community atmosphere that recording videos brings. And this is something that I got into completely accidentally because for nearly a decade I worked online as a writer and when the bubble burst on online writing I decided that I needed a new creative outlet so I turned to YouTube and then I started recording videos then this took off and this is my favorite thing that I've ever done as far as a hobby goes recording videos and sharing them then viewing the comments and just generally chatting shit into a microphone for half hour at a time and then uploading it's just fun it's a fun thing to do 
So the not suitable for all advertisers thing is not a big deal as far as the money goes. Because again, it's pennies. I dread to think, I know a lot of the big channels have had the same issue. And that has literally cut off their livelihood. Now, I think that's bang out of order, mate. I mean, who, who are they to say that our content is not suitable for advertisers? How about put a video game advertisement on a video game? You know, don't advertise perfume when I'm playing Static Decay and saying bollocks all the time. You know, that's obvious. I mean, I'll stink 24-7 of man, so, and beer. So, the last thing I want is, ah, uh, Jetty One from Chanel, or something over my cutting out a massive headshot or something like that on my videos. No, just advertise video games. It should be that simple. Of course, I'm, I'm just being stupid there. Obviously, there's more technical technicalities in regards to advertising advertising and YouTube and Google so there's more going on behind the scenes that us little people know about but it does suck though especially seeing people that I watch and whose videos I enjoy and when you watch and enjoy someone and an advertisement pops up it doesn't bother me it, it shouldn't bother anyone because what you got to think of is that advertisement is helping them fund their life and continue what they love to do on YouTube. So it kind of sucks that all these big channels, several, several of these big channels are having their income slashed if not completely obliterated just because of these new rules and technicalities that have fallen into place. Again, it doesn't affect the smaller channels like me who make pennies at best. But for the big channels, especially ones that I know that I watch and enjoy, who I know make their living through YouTube, which is an awesome achievement, it's never something I've striven for, but it's something that I know a lot of people do strive for. So, can you imagine being a big YouTuber, you know, you're funding your life through your gaming channel or whatever, well, it is gaming channels that I watch, and I know gaming, gaming channels are the ones that have been hit massively, and then all of a sudden, Google says, nope, that's it. That's it, go and get a real job. It sucks. It really does suck for those guys. And it also sucks because this new little gimmick that's happened in the behind the scenes in YouTube, it's going to prevent, it's going to hinder new and up and coming YouTubers that do want to potentially make their living online. It's going to hinder them and it's going to put them off actually recording content and uploading that and getting views and then progressing over the years and over the years and putting their hobby to work and actually making a few quid on the side because you know that's awesome that's an awesome thing to do and it's an awesome thing to see and it's an awesome thing to just talk to these people and hear their passion for what they do now when you consider there is no monetary gain in that aspect of YouTube anymore we are going to lose access to an potential up-and-coming youtubers they're just not going to be interested they're going to go to other forms of recording and uploading and streaming and ignore youtube so we are this behind the scenes gimmick that's going on is taking away the opportunities for new and up-and-coming youtubers to get it get their content out there and actually be motivated to do so Again, it's not something that affects me. I've never, ever done YouTube for money. I'm not going to lie, when I first started, that was my intention. Then I realised it wasn't going to happen, so I decided, right, well, I really love doing this, so this is going to be my hobby now. But I don't have many other hobbies. I love reading, I love drinking beer, I love playing video games, and I love writing. Uh, there's no money in writing anymore, so any creative stuff that I do is just for me and my eyes only. And then, of course, you've got gaming, which I love, which I'm capable of sharing with you guys and the internet. So that is awesome. So this is my main hobby. It was never, as it progressed, it never was going to be something that makes me cash. So I've understood and learned that years ago, mate. So it's no big deal for me. But again, I just hate the fact that these young up-and-comers that want to start a channel and potentially make money on the channel... They're just not getting that opportunity anymore. And the big YouTubers, I can't imagine some of the channels that I watch, the, the people going out and having to get real jobs now. Because when you've done something like this and you've made your money from home, the comfort of your own home, drinking tea and sitting about in your pants recording videos, I can't imagine how horrible that must be for those guys. So it does really suck. Now, I don't know where this entire thing is going. Like, this not suitable for all advertisers. I have no idea where it's going. Again, it doesn't affect me, and it will not affect my channel, so you guys can still 
you, could, you, you, you guys are still going to get content out of me regardless. I mean, I couldn't give two shiny shits. You can rub my balls together and summon a leprechaun. And I don't know where I was going with that, actually. But yeah, you can do that if you like. <laughs> this is why I'm not suitable for advertisers. Because I don't know where I was going with that. Something to do with leprechauns and testicles. But yeah, my videos are going nowhere. My channel is going nowhere unless they ban me for leprechauns and testicles. But in, in that case, you can fuck right off, mate. I'll go elsewhere as well. <laughs> oh, God. So what was I saying? I've completely lost my train of thought. So, yeah, that is what is happening. Let's summarise. That is what is happening right now. Uh, my channel, like many big YouTubers and smaller YouTubers, has been hit with the not suitable for all advertisers gimmick that's happening behind the scenes. Uh, I'd just like to emphasise further that it doesn't affect me at all because I don't do YouTube for money. You will see advertisements on my videos sometimes, but I mean, I'll get pennies for them because my channel doesn't really specialise in specialised content, so to speak. And I'm very rarely ever suitable for advertisers anyway, so again, it's pennies, mate. You can keep, you can keep your pennies, Google. Could not give a shit. Uh, as for the screen tearing issues, that I hope to deal with as soon as I return from my vacation, my hard-earned vacation, may I add. I've worked my tits off this year, mate. So that will hopefully be taken care of. Uh, just let me know in the comments in regards to the screen tearing issues. Will more RAM in my PC, will that speed up my PC? That is all. So yeah, this was just a little rant and a little explanation as to what the hell has been going on. Um, I will be doing Twitch a bit more as well, because I really enjoyed that. So when I get back from my vacation, and hopefully once I've fixed my PC, beat RAM or otherwise, wherever you guys say in the comments, I'll try, because that's how desperate I am right now, to get this sandwich working, and working the way I want it to. Uh, yep, so YouTube is still going to be a thing for me. No questions whatsoever. I love doing what I do, and it's a fun ass hobby. It's something I like to do when I get home from work and just stick the Xbox on, hit record, and see what comes out my mouth. Be it leprechauns or otherwise. And of course, I forgot where I was going again. I'm just looking at the screen thinking, oh man, I'm going to record some breakdown in a minute. So yeah, do I need more RAM in my PC? Will that fix my PC? Yes or no? And again, if you are a YouTuber that has been hit with the not suitable for all advertisers gimmick that's going on right now with uh, Google and YouTube, don't worry about it, guys. I mean... This is a good hobby. Keep putting your content out there and maybe things will all blow over. Let's all go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint and wait for all this to blow over. That's all i got to say on that matter. So, sorry for keeping you guys for 10 minutes or whatever the hell it's been. But it's just, I wanted to get everything off my chest and hopefully motivate a few people to just keep doing what they're doing. And of course I want to fix my PC, so help me with that. Cheers guys, all the best and goodbye.